dækker den Turtle. Today I'm gonna show a really cool new feature that we added to Turtle. This is a feature that uh, is so big, I guess, that we have created a separate tab for it in the sidebar. So I'm actually gonna gonna remove myself here. I'm usually in the bottom left. I'm gonna move myself to the bottom right here because we need to access this little uh, icon down here. It's what we call the issue panel. Um, so this is just a random test site we have here. Uh, and this issue panel shows um, potential issues with your site, something you might want to change uh, or fix. Uh, and it will show for whatever view you're on. So right now on this page, and it will show what issues they have. So this little icon means that there's actually a, what we would consider an error. Uh, and there might also be some warning, so let's check it out. So if I click this, you will see that we actually get some uh, some potential fixes or some potential issues we should fix. Um, so this is what we would, you would traditionally call uh, static analysis, I guess. So it looks at your total project and then it tries to figure out um, based on all information, which is basically, uh, we have all the information, we can figure out exactly uh, what could be wrong, what can we fix, what can make the site more uh, uh, run faster or be more accessible. Maybe there are some deep bugs down there, maybe you removed a variable and you forgot to clean up after it. Um, so in this case, for this side right here, you can see that we have one error. Um, so we can actually immediately go check that out. So let's see what it says here. The formula and then this weird name uh, does not exist. So let's check that out. So, oh, so someone maybe added a formula and then they deleted it or maybe they copy pasted this formula in and they don't have the reference. So I think in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I don't think we should delete it, but we can go in here. It's, I think it's supposed to be this one here. So I'll just click that and you can see now the the, the issue has disappeared. Uh, and you can do the same with this one. Each time you click them, they will actually take to it. So we have, uh, you can see we have forgot to set up a description for the page. That's something to do with uh, SEO. So it will also help you make your, your site uh, more discoverable on, on Google and, and other search services. We also have an unused variable, so that's just a nice cleanup. You can say, okay, this variable called users, right here, if I click uh, this one, you can see that it actually highlights uh, an element. So you can say, okay, this anchor test does not have an href, so it probably needs an href, and I guess it's similar to these ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that href here, add that in. All right, let's see if the issue is gone. It's gone, and then we can remove this uh, unused variable. It's not used anywhere, so it's safe to remove. I'm gonna remove it. And let's check the page, it says it does not have a description. That's gonna say, this is a website. It's a very bad description, but it should. Uh, you can see there's actually no icon down here anymore. That means no issues, good job, no issues. However, uh, maybe you're on a cleanup spree and you want to uh, to clean up all the issues on your site. I mean, uh, you know, you're more on a, on a hunt for issues more than just fixing them as you go. So you can click this all issues tab and it will actually show all the issues with all your uh, components, all your formulas, everything. And, uh, and you can go through them here. So if I click this one, it'll actually take you to that component. And if I click this one, you can see this get web Bluetooth old. I don't know what that is, but it says it's unused, unused global formula. I mean, go in here, uh, it's something about connecting to a Lego device. Let's just go ahead and remove that. Okay. And let's go and fix these things up as well. It says unused variable attribute here. Uh, unused uh, element does not have an old attribute. That's an important one. That's accessibility. You can actually go into this issue and you can search on category and it will show based on the issues you have, it will show the categories. So it will, in this case, accessibility would be the image thing and uh, no references would be with this one. You can also search if you have a lot. I think in the title project, after we introduce this, we, we still have a couple hundred issues, uh, issues to clean up and that will of course speed up the edits of everyone. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead and do that. So let's just quickly clean this up, add an alt. Uh, you don't actually have to add anything in the alt, it's technically correct now, but uh, in this case, I would probably write a user uh, base users face. That's uh, what you would read if the image doesn't load. Um, or you can't see the image component included in the page. So it actually says here that this entire component is not used anywhere. So it's actually safe to go ahead and just delete it because it's not used anywhere. Boom, there we go. And now we have no issues at all. No issues. Good job. 
Um, this is a really powerful feature. It uh, takes a lot of the, the difficulty of, of keeping track of, of cleaning up after you. So oftentimes if you uh, delete an, a variable, remove a variable or you, you have a variable you think maybe it's not used, but you're not sure, uh, this will now show you. You can go ahead and delete it. And, and if there's no issues, if, you have a, if you're trying to set a variable, read a variable that doesn't exist, you're going to get an issue here. You're also going to get an issue if you have a variable that is not being used by anyone else. Um, the same goes for attributes, I think APIs, and we're going to keep adding more and more um, rules to check for in your projects. So uh, keep an eye out for this. It's really good to constantly clean up and uh, keep a, a nice project. And, and of course, if there's any errors, uh, those will those you should definitely clean up because they, they might affect your application. Um, so give it a go and uh, and please write any feedback to us. We are we are very excited about this, and uh, we are excited yeah, very excited to see what it goes. This is a first step in, in static code analysis, and Turtle being a visual tool, we we want to also make it uh, more visual uh, visual in the future. So if you have a variable that's not used, we probably want to grade it out uh, up here, something like that. We'll see how it goes. We we really uh, appreciate your feedback on this. Oh, I got a new issue. Gonna go ahead and remove this. There we go. All right, that's it for now. Thank you.